I'm going to uh, go through and uh, my CBN wheels, show you how to set them up, how to install them on a grinder. I'm going to spend a little bit of time sharpening. Uh, we'll probably break this up into sections. Uh, I do sell CBN wheels. Uh, I don't sell hardly any diamond wheels anymore. Uh, I do get a few requests for special for machine shops and for grinding refractory material and that stuff, but that's, that's completely off the website. So what I do sell is the CBN wheels. I have them in six and eight inch. I have 180 and 80 grit in both sizes. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna take this one out of this box here and kind of show you a little bit about how it's gonna come to you. There's been a couple changes that I've made over these wheels in the last few years. You'll get it like this in a box. It'll come like this, the bag and a washer. And this is what you're going to get. It has a bushing installed in it. If you ordered one from me, if you didn't, you're going to need one. Uh, I can't stock all the different size uh, wheels with different arbor holes, so I make bushings that insert into them. And the fit in here is about like that. And here's the three different ones, and you'll get a washer like this also. Here's the three different sizes of adapters that I sell. A half inch, one inch to half inch. That includes most all your six inch wheels. I have a one inch to five eighths, which that is 90%, 90, probably 99% of all your uh, eight inch uh, grinders. And this one here is one inch to three quarter. And this will fit on your bell door grinders. Okay, so you're going to get this as the, the difference, the, the changes that I've made in a little bit is now I have the, I have it laser etched here, the grid of the wheel. It's right here. It also, I have applied CBN material to the edges. Both edges now have CBN material on them. So that's a, a kind of an improvement. There's a lot of carvers that thought that they wanted it there like that. So I did do that. So. Now we're going to go ahead and try to install it on this grinder here. <clears throat> and the only issue that I have with people trying to install these is right here, sometimes there is a burr. Right here where this shoulder starts, right here, these, what they do when they cut these threads, they'll cut these threads and they don't clean up the shoulder right here. So if you take this bushing out of the wheel, you want a nice slip fit on there like that. If it doesn't nicely slip fit on there, what I want you to do is just turn your grinder on, take a piece of sandpaper and clean this shaft up a little bit until this slides on there like that. You're going to need a minimum of two and a quarter inches from this shoulder to the end of this shaft. So you might check your grinder before you order. Uh, the eight inch grinders, I haven't had any problem with that length right here. But some of the six inch ones, the older ones, these are kind of short here. So you need to check that before you order from me. Uh, and be sure you go and check your grinder before you place an order or be sure you order some sort of an adapter or you're going to have to make your own. I don't know what you're going to do there, but that's entirely up to you guys. But you're going to need one of these somewhere, somehow. I want to talk a little bit about the regular matrix wheel here. which what everybody has one time or another. They come with these washers like this. They go on here and you can kind of see the fit we get here. Then you put a wheel on here like this. Which is not a very precision fit. You can see how much that moves around. Then you put one of these on here like this. And if this doesn't run true on yours, what you can do sometimes is you can take these washers and rotate them back and forth, rotate the wheels back and forth and play with them a little bit. And you might get something that's a little bit closer. But what you don't want to do is ever run these wheels without a guard on. These can blow up. They can have internal cracks in them. Uh, if you ever get a box that's shipped to you and it looks like the box has been dropped, be sure you don't use that wheel. Take it back and get another one because it could have an internal crack and you can't find it. And if you're using one of the balancing systems on this, uh, on a regular matrix wheel, 
and you get it on there and you get it pretty well balanced and then you use it for a while and it seems like it's not doing so good for you and it's kind of going out of whack it's probably because you've dressed this wheel back a little bit and you've changed the balance of it so you may have to rebalance it because if you have a density issue here where it's not quite right uh, I've had people bring them here and we've redone them and we'll get them pretty close and some of these wheels are so bad to the point where it there's not enough weight to put on one side. You may have to add a little more weight to them. So that, that might just help you get yours a little bit better. Okay. The next question I get is, can I run a regular matrix wheel and a CBN wheel on the same grinder? Yes. The reason you can do that is what I'm doing is I'm shipping you a factory balanced wheel. So if you've got an unbalanced wheel over here, I'm sending you, or you're buying from me, a six and a half pound balance flywheel. Uh, so all it's going to do is help the bad wheel that's over here. It's not going to hurt it one iota. It will help it. Uh, the advantages of the CBN wheels. For one thing, you don't have to dress them. Uh, they run cooler. Uh, you can clean up around here with a magnet. There's hardly any bluing. Uh, you don't have to wear a mask. Once you get your settings here for your Wolverine or whatever jig you have, you don't have to change it. As far as RPMs goes, you can run them at slow speed, 1725, or you can run them at high speed. Uh, when we go to this grinder here, I'll show you the difference. This happens to be a variable speed, and we'll run it at uh, both speeds uh, so you can see. And you can run it at variable speed in between also. Uh, I'll click this one on here. I've already installed the 180 on this side. Now that's slow speed right there. This grinder is just sitting here. Uh, you can see it runs pretty smooth. That's high speed there. You can see that runs pretty smooth. That's kind of how it's going to be. Uh, if you want to slow these down, you can take uh, one of these uh, wheels like this uh, to clean your sanding belts and slow it down. They will run for quite a while, or you can take a rag, just hold it on the inside, or a leather glove, something like that, and then it'll slow it down. Uh, so I'm going to, if you've got a grinder that moves around a lot, it's kind of jumping around, what I would recommend that you would do if you're only going to buy one wheel is to take that that uh, regular matrix wheel off, put the CBN wheel on and see how your grinder runs. And if you don't use that wheel a lot, your grinder runs really good, just run it with one wheel on it. You know, I mean, it's just it's as simple as that. It, then you can, if you don't like that and you want to use that wheel, well, put that wheel back on and mess with that wheel and then get your grinder the best you can. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this one. I've already checked it. Uh, I know that this bushing slides on here, just like that. So this flange on the bushing goes towards the grinder. What that does, it helps eliminate all this stuff that's going on back here if this is not true or anything. So we're just going to put that on there like that. And it doesn't make any difference, Dave, right? As to it doesn't which make side? any difference. If you want to install it the other way, what you're going to do then you're going to have to put the washer on first, put the flange to the outside. I, I meant the... They are non-directional. The grinding wheels are non-directional. You can flip it over. You can flip it over. You can do anything you want with it. They are non-directional. That's right. So we're going to install it the way I kind of recommend it, which would be this way. And when you get these, There'll be a sheet like this in the box. Kind of read it over or watch this video that will hopefully get up on the website. There's one up there now, but me and Larry are going to work on the sound a little bit. We had a little issue with that, so we're going to try to figure that out. Hopefully do better today. And what I'm going to do is just snug this up. That's about all I'm going to do. Uh, this is left-hand thread here, right-hand thread here. You don't have to tighten these down with a you know 15-inch... 20 inch wrench out here because these are self tightening. That's why we have left hand threads on one and right hand on the other. And if you if you want to, 
If you see that this is not running quite true, you can rotate this a little bit. Maybe there's a half a thousandth or something in the shaft or there's a little bit somewhere. That one's running pretty true right there. We'll put this on low speed. Now we have two wheels on there. Now that's uh, 1725 at that speed. We'll go up to 34. That's kind of how they run. They just run nice and smooth and quiet. Uh, this face here should be nice and true. This one here is an 80 grit, brand new one. You may get a little bit of bounce on the side. I can't guarantee that it's going to run perfectly true on the sides. The face is always going to be... I've sold thousands of them and they've all been really good uh, in that respect. As far as which one that you want, the 80 or the 180, uh, that's kind of like boxers or briefs. I don't know. Uh, but the 80 is obviously going to be coarser than the 180. They will break in a little bit after you use them. Uh, I don't know if you sharpen on them 40, 50 times. You're going to bust off some of these little high spots. And then it's going to get even and consistent all the way across there. What I do with them, uh, for all my larger gouges or any reshaping, I use this. Smaller tools, I use this. Uh, I probably sell 70% this, 30% this. And a lot of times people buy one and they come back, they love it so much they want the other one. A lot of people, they love both of them. So I haven't had any, uh, any issues with people just not falling in love with them. And, and you can see why once you get one and use it. And I've, I've checked them both where I've ground my gouges, went to the wood, went to the lathe, ground my gouges on both of them. I can't tell any difference at the lathe whether well, one edge over the other. Uh, one just has a few more little grain lines in the, in the, that you can see on this steel. Other than that, I can't tell a bit of difference once I go to the wood. Uh, maybe some people can, uh, but I can't. Um, okay, what else is there on these? Uh, I'm gonna check my notes here. Oh, when you get them, uh, they'll probably have a little bit of finishing oil on them, and you might see some of it on the wheel also. That's on there to prevent rust. What you can do, you can clean them off with just some uh, uh, denatured alcohol. Just spray a little bit on a rag, a little bit on a rag, wipe it off. Take the bushing out, clean it off, get the oil off from it if you want to. Uh, I think that pretty much takes care of it. It, it, it. As far as cleaning the wheels, you're used to dressing the wheels, uh, the other regular matrix wheels. There's really no... no dressing of these wheels at all. If you feel you need to clean it, you can clean it with uh, mineral spirits, denatured alcohol, you can take it off, put it in the sink, wash it with soap and water. Uh, I don't care how you do it. If I've had some that I've used for four years, I've never cleaned them yet. The only, the only uh, one that I've had any uh, issues as far as cleaning is if I'm sharpening 50 gouges, I might get a little bit of material built up right in here of just the metal that comes off and I'll just take a little rag and wipe it off. Uh, but other than that, I haven't taken them off once I've installed them. And if you want to clean up around here, you won't, uh, won't need nothing but a magnet. Uh, some people put a magnet down here to catch all the stuff. Um, so that's pretty much the story on them and how to install them. And 